Shalom from the Israeli Embassy in Washington. I'm glad for this opportunity to be addressing you again on Twitter. We've received a number of questions relating to Israel's recently declared moratorium pro uh, program. Uh, the moratorium calls for a 10-month freeze on new housing permits in the Israeli communities of Judea and Samaria, uh, the West Bank. Uh, the moratorium um, came after a long and very committed process on the part of American and Israeli negotiators to find a, a compromise between the Obama administration's initial uh, request for a complete settlement building freeze both in the West Bank and in East Jerusalem and our position, which that was that we were talking about several hundred thousands of our fellow citizens. They had normal life needs. Uh, such as building a room if a new child was born, or if they had to build a clinic uh, or a nursery school, they had those needs had to be met, that their, their lives could not be frozen uh, indefinitely. It was hoped for a long time that Israel's gesture in unilaterally offering to freeze construction would be met by Arab concessions as well. Uh, specifically, we had, thought, we had sought rights for our civilian airplanes to overfly Arab territory uh, going eastward toward India and China, but those requests were all denied. We'd also hoped to generate uh, a situation in which the Palestinian leadership, the Palestinian Authority, Abu Mazen, the president, would feel comfortable to come back to the negotiating table. He is yet to do so, still demanding a number of preconditions, but we have not abandoned hope uh, by any means uh, that he will uh, that someday and hopefully soon he'll come back to this negotiating table. The moratorium is a step that has never been taken by any Israeli government, left, right, or center. Um, it goes far further than any concession that Israel has ever made in this peace process, going back to its origins in 1993. It will not be an easy policy. Many Israelis uh, will oppose it um, and maybe impose it uh, physically and not just politically. But the government is committed uh, to making this gesture, to moving the peace process forward, and to assuring its close alliance uh, with the United States. We see the moratorium is aimed at achieving both of these goals, and together with the United States and ultimately uh, with our Palestinian partners, uh, we can move forward to a fruitful, durable, uh, legitimate two-state solution uh, through which Israel can establish relations with all nations of the Middle East. That's what this is about, the moratorium. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for sending in your questions.